it lends itself to believe that this is residues of um, uh, things you've internalized as a child. Very often when we have these type of uh, yeah, f fears that they have something uh, authoritarian vibe within them, but we are not sure what and where is this coming from and so forth, it can be an internalization even of various um, voices of authority from your childhood that you've sort of uh, put inside of your mind and that are now whispering to you, oh, but but oh, you shouldn't and look and the big uh, index finger and all of that stuff. And um, very often these are based on, let's say, um, let's call them slightly malfunctioning inner working models of self. So we have carry certain schemas and beliefs of ourselves that are just not helpful to... Um, you know, like to our life and to thrive and all of that. Uh, schema therapy is an extremely helpful uh, tool to to discover what are the beliefs that, um, you know, sit within you and then what are um, ways to, um, let's say, turn the malfunctioning schemas and beliefs into more functioning ways of thinking of yourself. Um, typically, it will require some good work with a therapist that is specialized in this way and so forth in order to really um, make some good progress. But then, of course, also you can work on top of that spiritually. And I would always uh, suggest to combine the two or in most cases, let's say. I would uh, suggest to combine the two and to also um, contemplate, okay, why am I holding on to this fear? Of course, a part of it is really hardwired into your system and, you know, you will need corrective experiences to overcome it. But you can invite these corrective experiences into your life. For example, asking yourself, well, okay, um, I don't want to live with this fear. It doesn't feel like it's serving me anymore. I'm now a grown man. I, I don't need to sit with this particular fear any longer. I could choose to... Um, accumulate courage within my being. I could look into well, what are the you know what are the main areas, experiences when thoughts of fear arise within me that uh, just you know are just not helpful and they they don't make sense for me. And um, you could then uh, embrace them, accept these these thoughts and you know moments of fear coming up, and um, uh, see what you can work on already with the tools that you have apart from therapy. Can you increase courage, for example, with a Hatha Yoga session that increases courage for you? Or confidence, or, you know, balancing the heart and the mind, which is all tools that basically allow you to have now uh, something else to lean on, so that even in time, that sentence of, oh, but you should be afraid, of that pops up in the mind, and then the emotions around it, and so forth, they will just it will just feel more and more redundant of sorts, you know, because now you're building something inside of you that is uh, that is different and that is new. It's like this uh, this trick that sometimes, at least in Germany, is done um, when you wanna when you don't want a new permit for building and you have an old building, but you want to have a new building. You just build a new building within the old building and then take the old building down. This is something that is done, in, at least in East Germany, it hmm. used to be done quite a lot. And it's similar. It's, it, it makes sense. You cannot you know, just take the house down and then you build something new. It's very difficult. You can. I mean, it is a path to enlightenment to do that. It's Zen, right? But it's difficult to do that. So um, build uh, already courage, soul connection, um, confidence, stability, new beliefs that you would like to hear within your mind. For example, someone that says inside of you, hey, it's okay. Maybe you need a soothing voice inside. Maybe you need a voice that says, you know what, you can do it. Maybe you haven't heard this a lot in your life, but you are free now to establish this sentence within you. And then gradually there will be less and less need to resort to these old belief system, uh, belief sentences that have sort of just been established because this is what we've been mirrored from the outside and modeled somehow and socialized into. And generally with fear, you can just defile it. You are afraid to do it, do it. You, you say that I've done this so many times in my life. You say to the fear, watch me do it. Look, I'm doing it. What are you going to do? Yeah, because it, it's, like, it's like an imaginary line. 
There is no. Look, I passed the line. What are you going to do? Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content on spirituality, Tantra and more. And if you want to sign up for our online classes or for our retreats, you can see our website on the description below.